This video is partially scripted by Mr. Colin, who currently has over 169,169,169 cash, receiving help and tips from some of the best, most skilled, and most experienced jailbreak players. This guide should help provide new insight, tips, and tricks. I tried to include pretty well known pro tips such as the parkour prison escape or volt bike c4 glitch. Criminal grinding and tricks. While it's common knowledge that you can stack your museum duffel bag with your power plant uranium, the passenger train duffel bag happens to be the same as the museum's. This means that while you can't stack a museum duffel bag with your passenger train, you could stack the passenger train with the power plant if needed. In the jewelry store, Snow Vault, instead of performing the obby, go into the first person and look down. This should help save some time. Note that while this typically ensures that you won't be damaged, this requires some practice and several attempts to learn. Always rob the museum. It is a very easy robbery and doesn't take a lot of time. Whenever the cargo ship spawns, try to rob it since it is a very easy money. When the museum is closed, you can also rob the casino and the tomb. Even if the power plant is open, I recommend robbing other locations and waiting for the museum, so that the museum and power plant can be robbed together. In the corridor floor map in the bank, you can use the flintlock to push yourself back over the blazer pit. While the flintlock isn't the most powerful or viable gun, it's pretty useful for its pushback. This can also be performed near the exit of the power plant, as the flintlock provides a decent pushback allowing you to arrive at your destination faster. Though this may seem significant, these speed boosts compound over time and can help save time. Additionally, spam clicking with the sword provides speed boosts, allowing you to run faster. Though it should be noted that the speed boosts are relatively random, so while it is possible to speed around the corridor of bank vault with the sword, it is not recommended. In VIP servers, it is recommended to turn vehicle collisions off with multiple other players. The Blackhawk is recommended, since it is able to move numerous players at once, but if everyone has the Mobile Garage, Game Pass, and the Volt Bike, the combination should be used instead, since there is a considerable speed advantage. Note that Hyperchromes in VIP servers are not more rare or harder to get. Players misinterpreted Asimo's tweet and took it out of context. Asimo implied grinding for Hyperchromes in VIP servers is harder, as it can be more difficult to grind solo. Not that hypercomps are more rare in VIP servers. Cop grinding and tricks. Either join small or large servers. Large servers typically have an abundance of criminals with bounties. On the other hand, small servers can include focus grinders who can't afford a private server with high bounties. Jumping off a helicopter from a high altitude and parachuting onto criminals provides an advantage as they typically don't expect cops to suddenly appear from above. Though tricky to master, energy drinks can significantly help with chasing criminals, not just bank busts. However, a donut and a force field launcher should be kept handy. Since the energy drink significantly reduces health, the glider can also serve the same purpose. If you are a frequent cop, it is recommended to have an apartment with an energy drink and donut vending machines, along with your most frequently used weapon gun racks. The city typically has the most action, so buying a downtime or apartment is likely the best choice. Don't waste your taser shot, since there is a significant reload time. Only shoot when certain the shot will hit. The cop's priority is to arrest, not kill, unless proven too difficult. Always attempt to arrest the taser is your best friend. Zoom out far when arresting to ensure the E-Circle can be seen at all times. Other tips and tricks. Spamming the pistol, revolver, and or the sniper on a flying target such as the army heli is a very quick and efficient in shooting it down. Crouching does not provide a strategic hitbox reduction advantage, thus it should be avoided in combat. Wall bang was officially added in May of 2022. Wall bang significantly reduces the damage given to the individual behind the wall, but it can be helpful sometimes. When flying the fighter jet, it's recommended to fly as slow as possible. While still being airborne, this allows you to perform tricks such as the steep glide, quarter turn, half turn, and more. For a dedicated advanced jet tips and tricks video, a link has been provided in the description below. Conclusion Thanks for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully some of these tips and tricks can be helpful for grinding and jailbreak. If you have any feedback or suggestions, let me know down below in the comments. 
Otherwise, that's it for this video. Socials are down below. Like and subs are appreciated, and I'll see you all next time.